So it's a rumor going out there that the Detroit Lions had talks with Marvin Lewis. We know Marvin Lewis actually interviewed for the Houston Texans job along with also ex-Lion coach Jim Caldwell. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love support. Um, most people don't like Marvin Lewis. Most people don't know shit about football. Okay, I'll tell you that. You talking about guys that's, that's been in this position before, okay? Some people got this infatuation or this imagination, excuse me, let me say that imagination, they have a infatuation with the Fords. They turn on every player, but they turn on every player, but they never turn on the Fords. They turn on coaches, they never turn on the Fords. When you got fans like that, they, they opinion is not to be responded to, it's not to be respected, it's not even to even be digested. Don't even think about it, it's not food for thought. You got a shitty owner until Sheila shows different. We can all agree with that. Marvin Lewis came from an organization that has shitty ownership. And every year, Marvin Lewis is in the playoffs. Only reason Marvin Lewis didn't win nothing is because he didn't have the ownership and he didn't have a quarterback. That's the big thing. He didn't have a quarterback. He was stuck with Andy Dalton. Had they got a better quarterback, he would have won something. So you got to understand, Mike Brown is one of the worst owners in football, one of the cheapest owners in football. And Marvin Lewis was able to take, <coughs> excuse me, able to take that team year in and year out in a division that's tougher. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> shit, that's tougher than the AFC. That's tougher than the NFC North. He had to deal with Ben Roethlisberger. He had to deal with Joe Flacco. That was a tough division. Think about it. Marvin Lewis is everything that we need, okay? Think about it. He take chances on troubled players. We passed up on the Honey Baxter. We passed up on Janoris Jenkins. We passed up on another a number of players because we didn't believe in second chances. Think about that for a minute. We passed up on a number because he believed in second chances. Joe, I think he was an integral part of drafting Joe Mixon. I could be wrong. He took chance, and the only reason that he don't have a Super Bowl or, or, or he didn't win two is because Carson Palmer got injured too. <clears throat> they was up big in that game in the first round. I think it was versus still, I can't remember. They was up big, and then Carson Palmer hurt his leg, and they went through John Kitten in there. They ju they threw John Kitten in there, and he lost the big lead, and they lost. That was that year. And look and look at Cincinnati since Marvin Lewis left. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at Cincinnati. Sorry. They was a 9, 10, 11 win team when he was there. And that same team is trash. Oh no, not Marvin Lewis. Why not Marvin Lewis? Well, he didn't do this since who when has Cincinnati been to Super Bowl since the eighties? Chris Collinsworth was playing, if my memory serves me correctly. Come on, let's keep it real. Why not Marvin Lewis? Y'all gave Matt Patricia a chance. Jim Schwartz a chance. Ryan Marinelli a chance. Mar Marvin Lewis is just Jim Caldwell <coughs> with emotion. He cuss you the hell out. He ain't no Christian. He ain't no pure Christian man like Jim Caldwell. And I'm fine with that. There's no reason why not Marvin Lewis. He got experience. He's, he was excellent in picking players in, 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 uh, in Cincinnati. They drafted A.J. Green. They, they defense was dope. Geno Atkins, Carlos Dunlap. He, he had them contenders, and they didn't get over the hump in the first round. But they don't, they don't change none of y'all opinions on Matthew Stafford. And he didn't get over the hump ever. And he had three head coaches. Lost in the playoffs with Swords. Lost in the playoffs with Jim Caldwell. Didn't make it with Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. That's my thing. People, oh no, I don't know why. Marvin Lewis had one and, and he a defensive guy. You know one thing, his defense is when he get them together, it ain't gonna be no facade like Matt Patricia. When he get his defenses together, <coughs> they play defense. And he believe in the front end and the back end working together. He don't, he just not all like Jim Swartz, just all front defensive line. He ain't Matt Patricia with all DBs. He a mixture. Look at his drafting. <coughs> Michael Johnson, I think whatever his name was to play the defensive end. He believed in building a team a complete defense. 
And don't forget, he won a Super Bowl, I think, as a defensive coordinator with the Baltimore Ravens or whatever he was with them. He, he won. And look at that. And people don't give him his credit probably because he's black. But he won with a team, with an owner who didn't believe in paying people to win. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. Because you're going to get a great defense with him once he builds it. You're going to blitz. You're going to have a good back end. You're going to have a good front end. The question is, who's going to win the off who are on the offense? As long as they ain't Jay Gruden, Hugh Jackson, I can take him. And people are like, we need to get over the hump. We need to, ain't nobody coming here who got options. You know, Robert Salah, then, yeah, you got to get two third-round picks for him. And then, if you didn't know, we only got five draft picks this year. You got to give him a third-round this year and a third-round next year. Marvin Lewis has done it before. He's won the Super Bowl as a coordinator, whatever it was. He he he, he turned he a hey, Cincinnati is just as bad as Detroit. Just as bad as Detroit. And he turned it around. He turned it around. He did that. And ever since he left, it's been a drug. So people say, oh, not Marvin Lewis. Shut the hell up. You don't know shit about football. Most people say, not Marvin Lewis. Talking about, oh, Stafford is not the problem. Nine and 54 against teams above winning 500. Above 500 teams. How you ain't the problem? Get the hell. Marvin Lewis is perfect for this position. He dealt with a shitty owner before. He dealt with a cheap owner before. And he, he can draft. He know what a good player look like. He don't have that, that many damn draft misses neither. He he believe in drafting DBs. He believe in drafting backers. He believe in drafting linemen. Only problem they had in Cincinnati for real was probably O-line and the quarterback. Andy Dalton was no great quarterback. You replace Andy Dalton with Lamar Jackson if you could in the time chamber, they probably would have, he'd probably still be in uh, Cincinnati. You know, but people don't understand. People think oh, Bill Belichick walking through the door or John, John Harbaugh, any of the elite coaches. They, and I remember somebody posting this <laughs> saying that the Lions interviewed uh, Marvin Lewis. But it, I ain't, I mean, I ain't believe him, but obviously he was telling the truth. I don't want Marvin Lewis. Then what, what you want? You want Robert Salah? He ain't never coached before. He ain't never, when, when has he been a head coach? Never. Never. He got a Super Bowl on his resume as a coordinator? Never. Marvin Lewis is a great coach. He would, If you put Marvin Lewis in a situation where owner really wanted to spend that money and win, he going to win. He, he, got, he, he drafted really good players. And he take chances on them trouble players, and that's what you need in Detroit. He would have won the Super Bowl if Carson Palmer never hurt his knee. And also, the pro and with the thing about Marvin Lewis is, he got a solid line here. The whole left, the center to left side of the line is dope. How to come back in, uh, healthy next year? Cool. So you got four really solid linemen. You just got to find out if Terrell Crowley can stay tackle or draft you a tackle. And that's why we, and I think a lot of times you're talking to people who don't know what they're talking about. That man's a good coach. And he know how to pick players too. If he can find the quarterback that he wants, he's going to have some success wherever he go. Because, you know, he's bringing 4-3. Ain't this multi deep Ain't this, I'm the smartest man in the room. He's going to bring good coordinators with him. He's going to play He gonna play some 3-4. He, he like, they can do 3-4. And, but, and in Cincinnati, and Baltimore, he can do 4-3. You're going to get athletic ends like Dunlap, Michael Johnson. He believe in speed. He, he believes. <laughs> he believed. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, he he he, is, he the best coach for this job. One of the best. He definitely one of the best coaches for this job. Damn, I hate this time of weather. It's even warm and cold and cold, colder, colder. But he the best for this job. I'm telling y'all. Telling y'all, you already know. He gonna have a dope, dope coaching staff. You know he know defense. He got he approved. He proven. 
Ryan Manalelli ain't proved nothing when he came here. Who else you have? Jim Source hadn't proved nothing when he got here. Matt Patricia ain't proved nothing that he got here. Nothing. Marvin Lewis is proven. People act like he was going on 16, 5 and the, He had Cincinnati in the playoffs every year. And them fans sit there cry for, for him to leave. And it was an owner. A lot of times it's the owner. I want to spend money. I want to keep players. It's the owner. Now you got a guy who been in this situation. Cheap franchise, shitty ownership. When you got those two things, you got the draft. You got to be a leader of men. He can do that. He can eat hard. He can be hard, but but his players play for him. They love they love Marvin Lewis. They love him. They love him. I mean, I'm telling you, dog. He he the one. He the one. He gonna bring. I'm telling you, somebody that been in this position before, and along with a GM that like him as well, they, they gonna turn it out. They gonna turn this mother sucker, I, I'm telling you, they gonna draft good, they gonna play good defense. The question is, can they get the quarterback play? We know with Stafford, ain't no he ain't key and shit. They're, oh, look at Stafford's stats. Garbage time stat. Like I said, you know what you get with Marvin. Hard-nosed coach, players love him, he know how to draft. That's what you need, somebody that been in this position, that been out the game a couple years, Okay, been out the game a couple years. And he can sit back and see, okay, this is what I could have done different. And a lot of stuff he could have done different. A lot of stuff he could have done different was more of Mike Brown. I'm telling y'all, man. He the one for the job. I'm telling y'all, he, he got a chance to sit back what he did wrong, what he could have did right, what he didn't do right. And it ain't a lot that he did wrong. They was a talented football. They just needed that quarterback and a little bit better ownership. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got a business question, inquiry, response, video request. All my social media links, description, fast way to reach me is Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Also, uh, if you want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313 That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time we're gone.